Today I'm going to do an update with my Hyper 26 inch jet fuel bike from Walmart. Now the bike was $168 for quite a while, but unfortunately now it is well above that price, around $250 to as much as $350 depending on when you try to buy it. So what I decided for this video is I'm going to do a few basic upgrades. Some of the first upgrades that I decided to do, and then I'm going to show you another video coming up with even more upgrades. We'll call this round one. Here's what we have here. And not everything that I'm showing here, I'm actually going to put on today, but we're going to start off with the 26 inch Haro Legends 1.75 inch wide uh, gold rims. SE Bear Trap Pedals, 9 16 inch for the three piece cranks. Some Cool Stop Clear Pads. And that's really about it. So let's take the pedals off first and then take these little reflectors off. We don't need to be reflecting anything. Plus they look better without the reflectors, but kids keep your reflectors on. Don't, don't watch me. But these are uh, super sharp. You can see they're Bear Trap. Gonna hurt if you slip the pedal. So I recommend you don't slip the pedal if you use these kind of pedals, but they look really slick here on the bike. Um, color looks really good, matches up. I like these. These remind me of the old Suntour XC2s I used to have way back in the 80s. Those were some of my favorite pedals. So here you go. Got them on there. They spin okay they're not as smooth as some of the pedals i've used in the past but they weren't that expensive so there you go first thing now let's take off the front wheel so that we can change out the wheels but we have to release the brake so we can get the front wheel off and then we're going to have to let the air out of the tire so that we can move the tires and tubes over to the new haro rims There we have it. And I just wanted to put them on the bike to see what it looked like. And right off the bat, I was like, yeah, I'm digging this. I've seen other people that have had the blue wheels and some that have even had purple. They all look really good on this bike, but I decided to go with gold and I'm gonna stick with it. So that's what we're gonna do today. Gold rims, they're popping. All I need is a gold chain and some LL Cool J music. So here we go, put the black tires on and these tires don't have any gum walls or anything on the side, no side walls are just solid black. Not the best tires, but at the time, this is all that I had for the bike. Since then I've actually got some more parts and I'll show you that later at the very end, tease you for the next upcoming video. But for now we'll just go ahead and tighten up the front brake. And we did some adjustments to that front brake too, which I don't know why, because I was gonna pull it off but uh, let's go ahead and change out the rear wheel and put on the Dicta freewheel. I can't remember if it's a 17 or 16 tooth freewheel. I think it's a 17 tooth freewheel that I put on here. And tighten it up with the freewheel tool and get these off Amazon park tool. Tighten it up just so it's ensured that it stays on. Don't have to tighten it too tight. And then we'll take the rear wheel off, take the chain off, and then we'll pull the wheel off since we've already released the tension on the brakes. And again, we're gonna pop the tire off the bead, put it onto the gold rim. It took a little bit longer than I show here because I'm working in super fast motion. So you guys don't have to watch me battling putting this tire on, but there it is. Overall, I wasn't really sure about the black tires and these gold wheels, but just for temporary, I said, well, let's just try it out and see what it looks like. It really doesn't look that bad, honestly. Add some air to the tires. Pump it up, homeboy, just like that. And add some to the front as well. This is some really interesting video material here. I apologize. <laughs> and then we're going to tighten up the rear. I don't know why I did that without changing the brake pads. So then I realized, hey, I need to change the brake pads out. And that's what I do here in a minute. I definitely don't want to use the Blake black brake pads on these gold wheels. So 
We definitely changed out to the the clear the clear pads to protect these anodized go wheels. But there you go. First few little basic upgrades, just the wheels and the pedals, and the bike looks way different. I think it looks super cool. So even with the black tires, since it has a black seat, black stem, black grips, black chain ring, all that stuff, it um, still kind of, you know, color matches somewhat. The wheels are super light. They are double wall uh, aluminum and they have with the high flange hubs, seal bearing. So yeah, I think it looks pretty slick. Now let's go ahead and swap out those brake pads like I was talking about. We definitely don't want to ride it with these black brake pads because we'll scar up the sidewalls of these beautiful rims. So putting on the cool stops and those of you who use these clear brake pads know what happens. They make noise, they squeak, they squeal. You can try to tow them in, you can try to do whatever. They still squeak and squeal. I'm not gonna have you hear that here as I ride it. But I rode the bike just to try it out, you know, see how it felt. And I think it rode pretty good. Um, very smooth. I really like the new rims. I like the way it looks. Again, this hyper uh, jet fuel color is just super, super sweet. And the pedals here, you don't have to worry about slipping those because they'll hold onto your shoes pretty tight. Freewheel worked pretty good. It was a relatively inexpensive freewheel, but still worked fine. And I did not show the pads here <laughs> that were changed on the back because I did these video, did this video here before I rode the bike. So just so you know, sometimes the clips are out of order. But yeah, man, I'm glad I got this thing for 168 bucks when it was on sale because I think it was a steal. I actually bought two, but I sold one to my buddy. So I gave him a deal since they're much more expensive now those high flange hubs look really sweet so yeah there you have it got a few pictures here i'm going to show you of the first upgrades again i do have more upgrades coming which i kind of went over the top with the gold and you will see that here at the end with the little teaser I still think it looks pretty cool even with these basic upgrades just the rims and the pedals themselves just really really just changed the whole look of the bike so hope you guys like this short little update here of my hyper 26 inch jet fuel from wally world and gonna tease you here in just a second with some of the upcoming upgrades yes she looks bad to the bone now so make sure you stick around for the future upgrades thanks for watching willie wilston out of here